Yo, what's going on guys? Jr. from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But tonight we got the Rockets against the OKC Thunder. Both teams adding new players in there. Goes Chris Paul, his debut play to the beard for a nice three. Bunch of debut games. Carmelo Anthony right there had his debut game. Paul George had his debut game. And Chris Paul had a great game. James Harden finished off 16 points, 10 assists, 5 rebounds. Really good game. 3 steals and 2 blocks. Just filling up the stat sheet. Chris Paul in his Rockets debut, 11 points, 7 assists, 2 steals. Nice game from Chris Paul. And Eric Gordon, 6th man of the year, went off tonight. 21 points. He was just hitting threes. He knocked down 6 threes tonight. Trevor Ariza also went off 18 points. And hit five threes. The Rockets as a team hit 24 threes in total. And they're a team if they get hot and they're making the threes, they can be any team in the NBA on any night. But Carmelo Anthony was leading OKC in scoring. He dropped 19 points, four rebounds, and a steal in his debut game. Paul George started off a little slow, but then towards the second half in the second quarter, which started playing a little bit better, finished off 15 points, five rebounds, two assists, and a block and a steal to go along with that. Also, OKC did not have Russell Westbrook tonight. He was out. I believe they're resting him or his uh, ankle injury, whatever the case may be. Just, you know, he's resting. He doesn't want to get hurt in the preseason. And, you know, they just want to see what Carmelo and Paul George could do together. Unfortunately, we're not able to pull out the W. They lost 104 to 97. And, you know, they were getting blown out by 20-something points by the end of the half start of the third quarter because the Rockets just got high and started hitting threes. There goes Chris Paul with the behind-the-back pass. And, uh, you know, he's just going to be assisting everybody. Eric Gordon, you know, he's going to make everybody on the team better. Another behind-the-back pass, pulling up from three. Chris Paul with the flashy passes, and he was not done there. Carmelo, this is his best area, this little mid-range. He's going to knock that down, especially with these fours that are going to be playing on him a lot. He's really going to be taking advantage of that because they can't play him in the perimeter. And a nice behind-the-back deep three from Ryan Anderson. Chris Paul, man, he's just towing around. Ryan Anderson popping another three, did not get it. James Harden to Chris Paul to knock down that D3. And, you know, Chris Paul and the Rockets are going to be such a fun team to watch. They already were last year, but just adding Chris Paul to them is just going to make them another team. And this is a potential number two seed versus number three seed teams going up against each other for the first time. You know, I'm projecting these two teams to finish in the top three. And uh, Carmelo getting busy right there in the paint. And, uh, yeah, so this was a nice matchup. Obviously, without Westbrook, the Thunder, you know, didn't have their best player. James Harden with a nice pass to Clint Compella, who I think is going to have a breakout season this year, especially with Chris Paul. I'm predicting him to turn him to another little mini DeAndre Jordan because uh, DeAndre Jordan's career was really made by Chris Paul. Nice three there from PG-13. And, uh, yeah, started this third quarter a little slow for the Rockets, but Chris Paul is going to knock down a three. One of his uh, threes in the game. James Harden find Ryan Anderson in the corner for another splash. And uh, this was a close game. As you can see, they're only down by 13, which I guess is a little bit a lot. But then another three is just pushing this lead up and up. And then the Thunder were not able to come back. A nice lob there from James to Clint Capella. And James Harden just wanted to get to the rim so easily. And he's just money from anywhere on the court. Nice three. Chris Paul. Passing it, thought he was going to shoot it, finds his man Trevor Ariza to hit down that three. And uh, this is where the Rockets just took over the game. James Harden's dancing on whoever's guarding him, pulling up from three. And that's water, this man James Harden, looking to get that MVP this year. Finds Trevor Ariza off the backboard. And as you can see here, already a 20-point lead for the Rockets to start the fourth quarter. And the Thunder would come back. You know, this was a nine-point game. But then the Rockets just hit him with a dagger. And let me know what you think about the Rockets and Thunder. Who do you think will end up with the higher seed?